Hey plant gang, uh, here in August we're seeing this plant uh, with its old bloom stocks on it, uh, but earlier in the spring this was covered in beautiful towers of ivory colored uh, blooms on these tall stocks. And uh, we look down here in this spiky looking plant, this is yucca filamentosa, often called Adam's needle yucca. Uh, and this is a tough plant, drought resistant, can handle full sun. Uh, it's called filamentosa because as you look at the edges of the leaves, you're going to see filament like threads that come off the edges of the leaf. Uh, you know what, a little bit pokey, a little bit pokey on this plant. And so you don't want to plant this in an area like in a children's garden uh, because it is a little bit tough, a little bit pokey. But uh, this plant is one of those uh, ones that we put in the category of hard to kill uh, because it is so tough. And in fact, I've uh, at one point cut this plant off completely to the ground and, and actually tried to remove this plant. Uh, but then every piece of the root then reemerged uh, as little plants. And this is probably five years later and it has reemerged as this uh, full size plant again. There's different types of yuccas, trunking yuccas and clumping yuccas. And this is more of a clumping yucca. And so uh, take a look at this full sun, uh, really a great plant uh, for really tough conditions. So this yucca, yucca filamentosa, it's actually native to North America uh, to sand dunes and fields from South Carolina, south to Florida, to Mississippi, hardy from zones five through 10. Can get four to eight foot high, spreading out two to three foot wide. Uh, the bloom stock is really what gives it a lot of its height. Easy to grow in light, dry, medium, well-drained soil and full sun. Very tolerant of poor, sandy soils, heat, drought, those sorts of things. Even salt spray if you were in a situation where salt spray uh, was an issue. Here kind of off the sidewalk but near a sidewalk where maybe they apply salt uh, during the winter time may even be an option for this plant. Here's a landscape tip. This plant adds an architectural element to the garden. Plant on dry slopes or in dry areas of the garden.